Max, what is it about time that we even ask the question, is time fundamental? Well, there have been so many other things in physics that we thought were fundamental that turned out to be mere illusions that we've started questioning everything, even time itself. And I think that time itself is not an illusion, but the flow of time is an illusion. The change in it is an illusion. It's very strange because it, it sounds like time is flow and time is defined by flow. How can you have time and flow of time being different? We can think of our reality as, as either a three-dimensional place where stuff happens over time or as a four-dimensional place where nothing happens. A one, two, three dimensions of space and a, a fourth dimension of time. And if it really is the second picture, which is the one that Einstein gave us and, and called space-time, then change really is an illusion because there's nothing that's changing there. It's all in there. The past, the present, the future. So if life is like a movie, then this space-time is like the entire DVD. There's nothing about the DVD itself which is changing in any way, even though there all, there's all this drama unfolding in it. But if you watch it, you have the illusion that things are happening over time. Exactly. And in exactly that way, we have the illusion at any one moment that the past happened and the future doesn't exist yet and that things are changing. But every and every... I am really... And my life is really a curve, a so-called world line, world line through this space-time. And everywhere along this, there's a moment of consciousness that I have, which has the same illusion that things are remember are happening. But really, I only live now, and all I'm ever aware of is my brain state right now. The, the only reason I feel like I had a past is I have information right now which contains memories about the, uh, recorded there about the past. And um, through and this generates this beautiful illusion that there's actually anything changing. So if time is an illusion, I'll give you that for a moment. Does well, that mean it's time, not? Ch ch okay, the flow of time is yeah. the illusion. Time is real. Yeah. The flow of time is an illusion. What does that say about the fundamental nature of time? We know the flow of it's an illusion now. Well, if it were this simple, then time would simply be a fourth dimension. That would be its nature. But I think we've learned that it, this is oversimplified. It's too simplistic because um, we also have quantum physics. In this picture, I have only one past, one future, and it's all determined. The ultimate nature of reality seems to involve some form of branching where there are many different Maxes who sh have the same past somehow, and <clears throat> maybe we should think about this unchanging static uh, true reality, whatever you call it, more like a tree than like a strand of spaghetti. Maybe we should think of it as sort of ever branching fractal, or maybe it's like a coral or something which you know comes together and branches out in a much more complicated pattern. Driven by quantum mechanics. Driven by quantum mechanics. So I think quantum mechanics has taken Einstein's block universe, very static picture where we're almost like fossils in a, in a museum in our entire lives and and made it much more interesting and re it removed, for example, this, this claustrophobic feeling that I only have one future, it's all predestined. So does that mean that as time becomes less fundamental, reality becomes more interesting? I would say in a sense, yes. I think it's much more interesting to think that the <laughs> there are many futures out there. And, and you mean one. by many futures, not just many possible futures, but many sort of real futures? I mean many completely real futures because er, there are going to be many different, there are many different maxes, future maxes who, which will share all my memories up until now and feel that they were me. Uh, they will never be aware of each other, so they're not going to feel schizophrenic and or that anything strange is happening, but they will have very different lives, that's right. So whenever I, if exactly, but they can still, if they really still believe the crazy stuff I believe now, they will know that, you know, if they just barely missed the ship, you know, there was another Max, namely this one that, <laughs> that didn't. That's not only true in the future, but it's been true in the past. So there are many different Maxes from the past. If there's one thing I feel I've learned about time as a scientist so far, it is that we still don't fully understand it because uh, ultimately, for instance, we're modeling time as continuous. 
as if between any two intervals of time, there's an infinite number of other times, and I know in my gut that that's just not right. We know that there's something called the Planck time of 10 to the minus 43 seconds, and it probably never makes sense to talk about shorter times than that. You yeah, mean so time is quantized? It could. It's probably not so simple as it is in the, pa the Pac-Man game, where things just go tick, yeah. tick, 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 once every Planck time. <laughs> But there's some other similar sort of granularity probably to time. And uh, it could very well be that both space and time end up being just approximations of some deeper theory, you know, yet to be uncovered. It would seem difficult to conceive of how anything atemporal could generate something that's temporal. Limitations of our own understanding, but how do you see that, just that intuition? Something we've learned again and again about time and the history of physics is it's a trickster. Every time we think we kind of know what it's doing, it surprises us. Newton thought he knew how time worked, and then Einstein said that it slows down when you go fast, and then, oops, it slows down near black holes. And now quantum mechanics is suggesting that it probably isn't even continuous and smooth the way we thought, but maybe discreet and choppy somehow, and uh, maybe now we're realizing it even has to be emergent somehow from something altogether different. So I think time has been a lot of fun so far in physics, and it's going to continue to provide a lot of entertainment and mystery for years to come.